Did you know there were dynamic visibility conditions already built into Generate Blocks? For the longest time, I didn't either until my buddy Taylor Drayson pointed it out. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can show or hide different containers based on conditions we set up using Advanced Custom Field. In today's example, we're actually going to be using blog post and our blog post template to show and hide different calls to action. Now, this is just one example of how you can use this feature. You could use this on pages, posts, custom post type. It really doesn't matter. The principles are going to remain the same. Just in today's example, we're going to be using posts. If that sounds like something that could come in handy for you, stick around and let's check it out. Do you offer WordPress website maintenance plans for your clients? Join the nearly 4,000 agencies and freelancers who have unlocked the secret to quickly growing their recurring revenue with the website owner's manual. Learn how the WOM works at theadminbar.com forward slash WOM and save 30% at checkout with the code YouTube. So here's the plan. We have this post template that's already set up. On the side, we have this join our newsletter call to action. And at the bottom, we have this full width call to action. And what we're going to do is use advanced custom fields to show or hide either one of these calls to action based on a checkbox we're going to attach to our post. Now, for the sake of this demo, I've already created two posts, this post two, which is going to have the call to action and post one where we're going to hide that call to action. I've already gone ahead and created the post template. If you're not sure how to do that in generate blocks, I do have a video. You should see a card popping up here that will show you exactly how that's done. So with that stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go here into the dashboard. We'll go to plugins, add new, and we're going to search for ACF. Down here is advanced custom fields. We'll go ahead and install that. Now, everything we're going to do is completely doable inside the free version. Now we'll go ahead and activate it over here in our custom fields. We're going to add a new field group. We'll call this dynamic conditions and We'll scroll down here to the settings. And for this case, we're going to say we want to show these custom fields when the post type is equal to post. Again, you could use this across anywhere on your site. I'm just using post as an example for this demonstration. So for the first field here, we're actually going to change this to a checkbox. And for this one, we'll call this newsletter. And for the choices, we'll say show newsletter CTA. Now, We'll go ahead and add another field. We'll add another checkbox and we'll call this one CTA. And for the choice, we'll say uh, show big CTA. With those things there, we'll go ahead and hit save changes and we'll jump into our posts. So we'll jump in here to this post two with the CTA and we'll scroll down to the bottom and we're going to see our new dynamic conditions. On this one, since our post with CTA, we're going to click the checkbox for show newsletter CTA and show big CTA. We'll go ahead and hit update. We'll go back and we'll go into post one and we'll make sure neither one of those boxes are checked. Next thing we want to do is jump into our post template. So we'll go here into elements and we have this blog post template. Here we can click on that container for our newsletter. And on the right hand side, you see this remove container condition here. We can choose no post meta. And for this one, this is our newsletter CTA. So we can look back at our fields and we just call this one newsletter. So I'll click to copy that and we'll paste that in there. So essentially what this is going to do is remove this entire container. If the post meta doesn't have this newsletter checked, we'll go down here to the big CTA. We'll change this again to no post meta. And for this field, we actually just called this CTA, which I already have in there and we'll hit update. Now we can close out that post and we can view our two different posts. So this first one should have no CTA. As you can see, the newsletter here is hidden and the big CTA at the bottom is hidden. And on post two, we can see our newsletter CTA and our big CTA. Of course, if we go in and edit this post, scroll down and tick off the newsletter and view this again. Now the newsletter one is gone, but the big CTA remains. As you can see, this has a fairly limited application. We can't show and hide things based on a lot of different information. We're really stuck with if there is a custom field present or not. That does limit things a bit, but I've found lots of situations where this really comes in handy. If you're looking for a more robust solution, there is a block visibility plugin inside the repo and I will link to it down in the description. That gives you a lot more options for free and there's a pro version that gives you even more capabilities. 
Hopefully dynamic conditions are something that Generate Blocks has on the roadmap, but we're just not quite sure. If you'd like to catch more videos on Generate Press and Generate Blocks, I got a couple popping up here, and make sure to subscribe so you catch me on the next one. We'll see you then.